Okay, today I'm going to be making Brazilian limeade and we're gonna be making it more ethical. So to start, you are gonna need two limes. And I bought these limes from a local family run grocery store that supports small farmers and small businesses. So these are ethical. And you're gonna cut your limes in half and then you're gonna cut your lime each half in half and just so into quarters. And then you're just going to put the whole lime straight into the blender. And then you're going to cut up your other lime. And these ones, I think maybe because they're from the local grocery store, maybe a little bit too tough. Ideally, you want your limes to be a little softer, but it's okay. And then you're going to need a bunch of water. It's kind of up to your... I'm actually going to need a cup. I just need a bowl of water. And you're going to cover your limes with water. So, one minute. So. That should be good. You can always add more... Always add more to taste after, and then instead you're you in the regular recipe you use a, um, sweetened condensed milk, but that because of its use because of it comes from cows because of the milk um, it's unethical or at least less ethical than this organic coconut milk which is a substitute and where the organic or the coconuts are fair trade and. So you can use that and then I'm just gonna I just opened it with this can opener and then you can pop open the lid and I'm gonna grab a spoon and, a fine one. and you're just gonna put some of that in there. I don't know if this is gonna be that good. There's not any direct well there are direct measurements, but I'm not following the recipe. So, if you want to find a recipe, you can look it up. <laughs> so, I'm not. And then, instead of, you're supposed to use, an addition to the condensed milk, you're supposed to use um, white cane sugar. But instead, I'm using this um, organic fair trade light brown sugar. And um, it's USDA um, organic. All right, and of that cane sugar, I, I the video cut out, but I did a couple spoonfuls of that into my, into my mixer. And really, you can use any kind of blender, but I, I oh god, I'm using a Vitamix, and that is it. That all, and I use water from the tap so that I didn't have to use any bottled water because I didn't want to use any plastic. And if you live in a place like Belmont, you're Water is probably going to be fine, but if you don't, then maybe just make sure that your tap water is safe to drink. And then you're going to blend up the entire thing, but I don't have a cap. I don't have a cap on my blender, so I'm just going to cover it with my hand. And right now it's not looking too good. I'm actually going to see if I can find the cap because, hold on. I found the cap, so we're gonna try this again. And full speed. It might feel it might feel a little weird just because you're blending in, like up the entire line, but it's okay. I mean, hopefully your blender is not like gonna break. All right, so right now you can see that the liquid it's kind of only the skin is is left to blend, and. All right, so that should be good. And I also, I forgot to do this, but if you want to do it, you can. All right, as I was saying, the seeds, I blended up by accident, but um, that's okay if you do that because it won't really change the flavor that much. But yeah, okay, so now you have your concoction and you're gonna now strain it, but into a bowl or pitcher. All right, now you're gonna take a pitcher and you're gonna fill it up with ice. All right, now that you have your pitcher filled up with ice, you're gonna strain the lemonade over 
the ice. So you can grab a strainer and oh. Oh my god. This really spilled. It's okay though. Pretty good. Okay, now you're gonna take a spoon or whatever you have near you. So I'm using a knife. And let me show it. Okay. Alright, and then you stop straining. Okay. This is my lemonade. It wow. This is just from the coconut, so don't worry about that. It that's normal. And cheers. It's pretty good. It could use some more sweetener, I think. Mm. It doesn't look great, but that's not because it's an ethical recipe. So try it again if you want. And good. Okay, bye.